Dan, thanks for joining me today. You're very welcome. Happy so, to do it. Thank you. Um, so what we do is uh, we run a, a, a video interview series um, because we're ambassadors of the uh, Lee Side neighborhood. We like to interview owners who are either operating in the neighborhood or who provide services uh, to the neighborhood. Right. I live in Lee Side. You provide services to me. Yes, I do. Um, and to other uh, Lee Siders. So I thought it'd be really great to sit down with you, um, uh, interview you. I'll explain a little bit why I love working with you. Um, but also we can dig into a little bit what it is that you do, what makes you tick, and why people should chat with you uh, for Sounds what great. you do. Okay, so, um, well, I should start by saying your name's Cam Hil Hilmer. Right. Um, officially Cameron, but you go by Cam with your friends, and everybody seems to be your friend. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, you run a, a, it's funny because, you know, People who get to know you know that you know your your operation is very lean, but you come off as a as a very substantial operation. Um, and and do I remember properly that you're called Caltel? Yes, I am. Okay. And what is with one L? With one L. Two L's okay. and one L. Call C A L L T E L. Correct. Um, and uh, and could you tell us just briefly in thirty seconds what it is that you do? If you're networking with people and they say, "What do you do, Cam?" How do you answer? Uh, I I say I'm a, a phone company, and they okay. kind of look at me strangely. And We're I say, "We're not talking about Bell or Rogers." Right? I'm I'm a baby Bell. Uh -huh, okay. <laughs> so what I, what I do is provide the same kind of service and phone service uh, that those companies do, but just on a much smaller scale. Uh, and how I'm different is that I I only do hosted VoIP, okay. which is is uh, essentially uh, all over the internet. Okay. And two, uh, I instead of providing the customers with the cookie cutter, you need to you know choose your plan. I can create everything custom, so I can provide that level of custom service. And and we've been fortunate enough. Uh, I, I think you're used to every couple of months. You're used to me reaching out to you and saying, "Kim, I've got this crazy idea. What if my phone system could do this?" And, and somehow you always <laughs> manage to find a way. So far, I'm, so far, so good. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's been really great. Um, so, what what is it that you that you think is special about VoIP versus traditional phone? Could you explain a little bit? Yeah. Um, it provides the ability to to provide the service over the internet, and then every phone or device that is linked to me can be anywhere in the world. Okay. And as long as it has an internet connection or, or a cell connection, uh, it can operate as a local Toronto phone. Okay. So we completely remove the, the physical geography, the, the fact the phone has to sit there and plug into that particular plug. Right. It can now be essentially portable and be anywhere. So is this a little bit like a laptop? You could put it on a laptop, you can put okay. it on a cell phone, or you can have an actual physical phone. Okay. You can put it on your tablet. So it, it, it allows your phone service to be portable wherever you are. So you can receive calls and make calls from Toronto. Okay. But it, you could be in the Costa Rica or London, you England. 416 or 647. Absolutely. Or, and, and I know you've told me this before. What does VoIP mean? I keep hearing this term. Voice over internet protocol. Ah, okay. So that and that's how kind of modems work and all that. Right? It, it's it's the protocol for the for the transfer of audio packets. Okay. Okay. Called SIP. Okay. Or A I A X. Okay. All right. So they are slightly different than internet traffic. Okay. And you and the systems that the audio is going through can recognize them as uh, special uh, uh, packets. So, for example, um, <clears throat> when you are over in the internet. Most companies provide you with the slowest, longest route because that's okay. the cheapest. So okay. if you're calling Mumbai, mm -hmm. say, uh, or you're doing an internet connection with Mumbai, it's going to go through California and across the fiber cable. And it could take, it could take uh, 500, uh, six, seven, 800 milliseconds. Okay. Well, a phone call won't be supported by that speed. It has right. to be much faster. Gotcha. So we use, we use the fastest routes. Ah. All right. So we pay a premium to go faster. Okay. So that's what differentiates, uh, differentiates us from, uh, from say, Skype okay. or, or any of those, uh, like Zoom. Because they're just using proper they're, normal It's internet, internet traffic. Gotcha. Yeah. So, we, so when, you, when you're buying phone quality uh, uh, routes, you're paying a premium. So gotcha. we, we pay the premium, you get the better call quality. Gotcha. Yeah. Now, I do want to dig more into your current business, but I know you have an interesting past, professionally. Yes. Do you mind? Uh, I, I uh, practiced law for a number of years. Okay. Um, I, I was a criminal defense lawyer and I acted for young offenders. Okay. So I just I was mostly a child advocate. Um, I also did an MBA. Um, so I've run some businesses and that's how I ended up in the business I'm in now. Right. Uh, I was approached in early 2000 to um, 
to turn a, an IT company around, okay. uh, which I did. And <clears throat> uh, so the partners then wanted to have a divorce. So one of the partners and I, uh, the partner who was bought out, and I went and started a cloud computing business in, okay. in uh, 2007. Yes. Uh, and we had a number of products that were cloud-based, but the VoIP was the one that really, uh, really took off and was the most fun. Cool. So we kind of abandoned the other ones and uh, and and concentrated on VoIP. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Uh, so so you've been at this for a while. How long do you see yourself in this line of work? Um, I'm getting to the point where I would like to work a little bit less. Okay. Uh, I'm working towards semi-retirement. Fantastic. Uh, I have a, a transition plan with a friend who's also in the same business. Okay. We, we already work together. Yeah. So I will kind of move perhaps more a bit into the background. Um, and he'll be more in the foreground. Um, and uh, but I I love my relationship with my customers. Yes. Many of them have become friends. Um, right. And so I want to stay involved. And uh, plus I, I mean I, one of my favorite things is to build spreadsheets. Okay. <laughs> so you can't build spreadsheets. Well, I'm going to build a few for my investments. Sure. But I love you know doing that kind of thing, uh, business analysis. So I, I want to stay involved uh, in that way. And I, my wife and I want to spend. Uh, Couple of months down south, awesome. and I can do that because I can. I have a local phone. Yeah. All right. I can. I I, I phone many times from Mexico, Costa Rica, Dominican right. Republic, to my customers in Toronto, and it comes up as my company, and they don't even know that I'm wearing my bathing suit and sitting beside the pool. And on that on that <laughs> note, so so there you're almost talking about. I mean, you're using VoIP as a consumer when you're doing that. Yes. Um, yes. But I've. I know that I've called you or emailed you and you've been outside of the GTA Yes. and you've said, oh, I'm just going to log on and I'll fix that or I'll I'll add that service or that feature. Yes. What are you logging on to? How does this work? Everything, the, the entire infrastructure is is in the cloud. And okay. I, in other words, it's remote. Okay. So if I have my laptop or a tablet mm -hmm. um, and anywhere in the world and an internet connection and I receive a, a, a support request, I can open that up fix it so so i'm portable yeah. the same as the phones are Amazing. yeah so I, I just log in i all our infrastructure is sitting at 151 front street okay uh where it's telephone central for eastern canada right. everybody tell us rogers bell everybody is in there okay okay if it blew up we would have no phones oh, anywhere geez. in eastern canada okay but i log in there yes all right on my computer and i fix i can do anything that, that needs to be done fantastic yeah so Every business has different challenges and, you know, there are ups and downs. I think that's entrepreneurialism and, right. and business ownership. What do you do or how do you run your business to stay motivated every day? Uh, well, you mentioned earlier, uh, the, the, pe people have interesting requests. Sure. Okay. So I think it's fairly common in, in most businesses or most, most professions, uh, most jobs. You learn the 20% of the stuff that happens 80% of the time fairly yes. quickly. Yeah. Okay, and then then you start learning that eighty percent that occurs twenty percent of the time, and that's where you get good over time. Right. So so I'm constantly uh, I really like to get one of those questions that's in that eighty percent, right? And 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 solve it okay. because I have said to my customers, I can create something custom yes. for you. So most of the time the platform will allow me to oh it's a part of the platform i've never used before sure. or i have to create a workaround sure all right and, and i achieve the goal yeah but once in a while we have to write some special software which we can do yeah so uh you you wanted a particular feature uh, early on yes uh so your agent could log in from any phone that's right we had to write a little extra software for you to do that uh, and that's that's what we can do. The Bells and the Teluses and the Rogers of the world, no, they, they can't do that. Certainly not. Or, or they're not going to charge, what did I charge you, $200? Oh, they're going to charge you like five or $10,000 and it'll take three months, sure. you know? No, it's, it's, it's actually interesting that you're saying this because I've, I've been surprised in the past. Um, I've kind of reluctantly written an email or called you to say, what if I could get this feature? Or am I crazy to think that we can do this? And, I, and I'm ha kind of hesitant because a lot of service providers, those kind of, uh, custom requests are annoying, right? Yeah. And, and I've been surprised. I'm not looking to just flatter you here, but you embrace it. It's just like you just said. I, I love a challenge. Yeah. That's okay. Really cool. Yeah. I love a challenge. Okay. And and there's really, it is software. All yes. right. So it's it's not the traditional phone system that most people are aware of is that big black box where all the telephone lines come I mean, in in, in the in the in the room in the back. Yeah. Right. 
Well, we've taken that whole box and we've moved it downtown to 151 Front Street yeah. and it's software. Yes. All right. So we can we can tweak anything. We, yeah. we can just, you know, Very it's, neat. It's, fan, it's neat. It really yeah. is cool. Yeah. Um, what would you what would you say if you had to choose? I mean, incredibly talented. But if you had to choose just one talent that you think really impresses your clients regularly, what would I, that be? well, we've kind of we're working on a theme. Yes. Uh, I, I don't give up on trying to solve problems. Okay. You're persistent. Yeah, I'm very persistent, and I'm pleasant. Uh, to, I think most of my customers find me a, a very nice person to deal with. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so, so it's a very comfortable uh, relationship, and they don't hesitate yeah. to email me and say, "Hey, no question is a I've stupid question." To stop hesitating. Yeah, <laughs> no, but no, no question is a stupid question. Right. Occasionally, I have to say, "Well, no, I, I, I really can't do that." Yeah. All right. But that's occasionally. Yes. I'll, um, most of the time, I will. I say, can you leave that with me for a couple of days? Sure. And I might speak to a colleague, or I might speak to my technical staff, or I might do a Google search. Ah, okay, yeah. yeah and I get back to the person, and so I, I, I really enjoy that part of it. Yeah. Uh, being, being, it's, it's, it's being creative. Yes. A lot of people love to be creative. Yeah. We're all creative in our own way. That's yeah. one of my ways to be creative. Okay. Yeah. Um, Again, as a business owner, do you find that you set yourself uh, goals quarterly or yearly? And uh, second yeah, part, yeah. Um, if yes, uh, are they number of new clients? Is it retention? Is it dollar volume? I said, I, I, usually I sit down about once a year and, and figure out where I want to be at the end of the year. Um, it's mostly about dollars okay. because I, I can get a larger customer. It takes longer to onboard them, and there, but there's larger revenue. For, so I, it's not about numbers per se. Right. It's more about dollar revenue. Sure. Uh, and then and then the mix uh, of customers kind of takes care of itself. So right. um, my I, I have a lot of smaller customers. Okay. You know, 10, 15, 20 extensions. Yes. Uh, I have I have uh, the occasional large customer. 150 or 200 extensions. And I think we were just talking last week. You, you, you started working on uh, 400. 400. Yes, spread over a number of offices um, in the GTA. Yes. Uh, Ottawa and Montreal, Quebec City and Calgary. Yes. So there were 400 phones spread over that, and and that was a, that project. It took us um, about six work days to to do that. That's it. But Jeez. we had to go to all the locations, yes. the way the things were working. And so we had, we did it actually over about two months right. because we couldn't be, you know. Sure. But it was it, it was very straightforward. It's um, the way business is not really rocket science. Yes. But it, it's, it re requires you to be absolutely um, obsessive compulsive about the detail. Right. Because one one digit wrong. Yeah, in a password setting, or, or something, and and it won't work. It won't work so it's it's about planning. We do sure. you know the bigger the project, the more the project planning, but the implementation is just it's time consuming. Yeah. But it's very straightforward. Okay. So so that, uh, and and if you're if you're moving somebody from an existing system to a new system, we always make it so they can fall back to the old system. So and the customer ne happens. never signs off. Yeah. Until the new system is solid. And, and we don't bill them until the new system is solid and they cancel the rest. So we right. don't we don't double bill. Wonderful. Right. So the, the yeah, That's we, nice. the, the way we want to make it as risk free as possible. Sure. Okay. And as comfortable for the customer as possible, because of course, a company with four hundred phones, they're phone reliant. Yeah. And they, this particular so. company does. They have a call center. Yes. So they have twenty people there handling calls, okay. and and they 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 can't run without those phone sure. calls. Yeah. Okay. They're in the medical business, and and the people are phoning in to make appointments, change appointments, and so on and so forth. Yeah, they so can't be down. They can't be down, literally. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's get back a little bit to to, to this uh, this wonderful neighborhood of ours, uh, Lee Side. What do you, what do you think is special? What do you find special about? The well, I've I've lived just on the on the periphery of Lee Side for. Uh, Thirty years. Okay. All right. So well, I'm, I know the neighborhood of well. Of course, you probably walk and drive through it. Yeah, I do actually. I drive through it a lot. Um, so <clears throat> my grandchildren live at St. Clair and O'Connor. Okay. And I'm a big driver of Broadway. Yes. <laughs> to to Bayview. Sure. Or Broadway to Laird. Yes. And I, I couldn't do without the Laird Strip. Okay. Uh, there's the Canadian Tire. 
Yeah. Okay. There's uh-huh. a Best Buy. Yeah. There's a Golf Town. Yeah. There's a bulk <laughs> store where my like, wife likes to, to buy all her goodies for baking. That's the Laird's store. Longo's has great coffee. Yeah. I'm a customer of the Royal Bank. And although the parking is pretty bad at that Royal Bank on Laird, uh, I, <laughs> I I, it, it's there for me. Especially to... in the winter when they, uh, yeah, somebody yeah, seems yeah. to choose to plow snow and take up 10 spots with just snow. <laughs> so I, I'm a I'm great lover. And then, of course, there's, um, there's uh, Adamson's Barbecue. Yes. Uh, which I'm a, a great uh, aficionado of. So I go about once a month and I bring friends and they go, oh, uh, and, yeah. And we, <laughs> oh, you introduce them. Oh, yes, I Fantastic. do. Adamson's Barbecue. Now, I can I show you a picture? Sure. Okay. This is a friend of mine and I sitting at Adamson's. When was this? Uh, this was in the fall. Okay. Just hang on here. So considering we're, are we February 8th, 9th? This is not so, the time to be... Running around with so this is my oh, friend, okay. And Adamson's has this ramp where you yes, you know. So we he brought foldable little chairs. Oh, awesome! And and they open at eleven thirty. Yeah, but if you don't get there yeah. like at eleven, you have to line up right. So we're we're on the <laughs> ramp, sitting on the ramp. The only people with chairs <laughs> waiting great. to go into Adamson's. Yeah. So you yeah so well you I, so you got a little ahead of me. I was going to ask you to name some of your favorite uh, Lee side spots. I yeah. think you've already done that. Yeah. Um, Outside of businesses, are there any uh, attractions or anything like that that you gravitate towards? Uh, you know, I'm a golfer, but I can't remember. I don't think there's a golf course in Lisa. Not adjacent, not, not, no, not immediately adjacent. But, there's but da- the golf town is obviously yes. where you and, go. Yes, and until recently. <clears throat> I mentioned I'm going to go into semi-retirement. Yes. And one of the things I miss is reading. I, I read for, for my job. Sure. I read all day long, and but I'm tired pleasure. of the, Well, I do when I go on vacation. Gotcha. <clears throat> so my, my standard present from people who don't know me very well well I'll give them a golf town gift certificate uh-huh. so i have a stack of them in my <laughs> in my wallet and every once in a while i drive by and go in and i'll buy a club or a, anyway so what, so now what i'm asking for is um, um a gift certificates for indigo, indigo so i course. can buy books yeah yeah so very cool yeah uh and we have an indigo not too far from me not we're just just, just over Edison. here yeah That's right yeah uh, so I'll, I'll end uh, just with a couple more questions. What's, uh, what's the most memorable experience you've had working with a customer? And memorable, I usually think of memorable as positive, but you could even tell a, a negative story. <laughs> well, okay. So I, I don't know. I, I, no particular customer stands out, but here's the, the nicest thing that happens. Sure. You'll go into a customer and there'll be a little, they've heard some horror stories about, yeah. about Void. Sure. And that's not happening so much, but it used to happen a lot. What's changed is that our internet, internet infrastructure is just so much better now, okay. whether it's in the home or in the office, right. it's just much more stable. Sure. And of course, hosted VoIP is totally internet dependent. Sure. All right, so you go in and you talk to them and they, you know, they're kind of white, bit white knuckling. Sure. And it's not expensive, but for a small business spending two, $3,000 on new phones, because they often have to upgrade, sure. uh, and they're a little skeptical. Yes. Okay. Now we do give free trials, and we can, you know. Okay. But <clears throat> the, the our goal is to spend as much time as we need to to get that customer up and, and happy and comfortable. Okay. And getting it running like a Swiss watch. Wow. Okay. And to see the look on their face after it's working that way, and that relief and the pleasure, uh, and that that happens about. Maybe once every six months, and I find, I get a real kick out of that. Sure. Okay. Nice. Because I've I've made promises, sure. representations, explained that it, it's not risky, and sure. and I and I deliver. But they're always skeptical until yes. you actually deliver. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So that I, think, I get a lot of big kick like out that of that in many many service based businesses. Yeah. If you're service centric or customer centric, you're yeah. definitely going to fail. And, and I, I am. I mean, I I'm not an IT person. Right. Okay. I run essentially an IT platform. Sure. But that's not my background. Okay. You know, I grew up in a house where my father was always self-employed. I virtually all my life been self-employed. Okay. It's all about the relationship that you have with customers sure. and, and the relationship you have with staff yeah. and, and, and delivering and, and um, it, the, the technical stuff is just, it's part of the process, sure. but it's the relationship that matters. Yeah. I fully agree. Yeah. Uh, one or two last questions. You know that I'm in real estate. I do. Um, do you have any questions for me? I'm gonna turn this on you. Um, <clears throat> Any, but anything about the market, about condos or houses? I am fascinated. Yes. Okay. To know how you, I heard recently that you negotiated a deal and the house was up for nine hundred thousand, and you got it for seven. Um, 
you're, the numbers are, are, are the, the difference is about right. So there was a property that we worked on recently, um, a, a detached house, not too far from Leaside actually, um, where the asking price originally was over 1.55 million. Uh, we actually for initially negotiated a purchase price. Um, and, and just to set the scene, this was a property that had been languishing a little bit. Uh, the listing agent may not have done the greatest job. Right. The sellers probably were stubborn about listing very, very high, which in a market that's, that's tepid or, 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 or just lukewarm in some neighborhoods is maybe not the best strategy. Um, so probably listed a little too high to start with. Right. And over a period of a couple months, there were a few price reductions. Uh, when we decided to, we've been monitoring it for our, for a specific uh, a couple, a client of ours, a, a young couple, actually with a newborn now. And um, and this transaction just took place. I told you about it a week ago. It took place yeah. 10 days ago. Yeah. Um, so the, the new asking price when we decided to make a move was at 1.35 million. And the purchase price that we negotiated, you know, at times, we negotiate pretty hard. I almost want to feel bad, but then I remind myself, well, I'm doing this for my clients. Yes. However the sellers are acting or whoever they've hired on the other side of the negotiating table, that's not my problem. Yep. Um, so I have to remind myself, but we yep. hammered them pretty hard. We got them from initially 1.5, over 1.55. They lowered themselves to 1.35. We negotiated 1.23 million as a purchase price. And during our due diligence period, a conditional period, yes. We, we found some minor issues with the property and we were able to negotiate a further reduction of $15,000. So we ended up at 1.215 million. Um, my clients are thrilled. They have a, a three week old baby. Uh, wow. They've been looking for quite a while with us. The right properties weren't coming along. Their budget wasn't there to get the house that they wanted. Yes. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's funny that you, you, we didn't talk about this before the interview, but you, you mentioned uh, uh, how you feel fulfilled in certain instances. My yeah. gosh, you know, we get such a kick out of being able to do this. Um, you know, we're working with families and, and human beings. Yep. Um, they're going to create memories in a, in a place, whether they're on their own or, or they have a smaller, large yes. family. Um, so to be able to kind of be involved in getting them into a property like oh, that. Oh, I remember buying my first house. Oh, yeah. And my daughter was, uh, God, she was two, two months old. Oh, wow. So it's, it's it bring back memories. Yeah. I was, I bought a house up at Lawrence and Young. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it, it's, it's about people. Yeah, it really is. It the bottom like line, it's about people. Indeed. Yeah, we all do what we do, but we, at the end of the day, it's people. Yeah. yeah. Ken, thanks for sitting down with me. Thanks, Chloe. Good to see you. Really enjoyed it. All right, take care.